So the more I sit with my process and journey of healing, the more that I realize that one of the most interesting themes that continues to surface is this theme of presence. When you're raised in an environment of chaos, the one thing that you really don't get to do or get to experience is presence, being present with yourself, being present with the world around you, experiencing life in a present manner because you're looking for guidance from the people around you and everything around you is chaos. It's chaotic. So you're tuning into chaos. Therefore, you're looking for safety in chaos. And you're basically pulled outside of yourself in many different ways. And so when you're raised in an environment of chaos, you don't get to have the opportunity to be present with yourself, with what it is that you're doing, learning about yourself, learning about life. There's something else that you are to take on. There's something else, a role that you are to put yourself into. And it's just, it's so interesting because, you know, like, the more that I sit with it, the, the more that I just kind of like sit with this theme of presence, I realize that my life has not been aligned with that for so long. And it's interesting because when you're present, you're with what is, right? And there are so many things that I've learned about presence, so many beneficial, essential things. Um, one of the most important being a, uh, a spiritual teacher that I follow who I think is phenomenal, goes by the name of Eckhart Tolle. He, he said many things about presence, being present. He wrote a book called The Power of Now, Transformed My Life. And he put together this quote that basically said, Accept what is as if you have chosen it, right? And, of course, you know, the mind just likes to throw a bunch of, you know, resistance at everything because there's a narrative that's running in the mind that's, you know, saying this or that should not be happening and puts up a shield, pushes it out, this, that, and the other. And, of course, that doesn't do anything more beneficial for what is, right? So we've learned, we've been conditioned so heavily to resist what is, right? And then there's these mental narratives that run that say that it shouldn't be this way, it should be that way, this, that, and the other. But then when you bring yourself to the present moment and just accept it <laughs> radically, it changes the dynamics of everything. The experience just transforms completely. So this is why I'm noticing that in my own life personally, presence is such a key element because just accepting what is, right? It, it, it goes against years and years and years and years and years of conditioning that basically said, uh-uh, nope, not happening, no way. And then, of course, the extreme of that is, you know, something like, ah, like, just like, no, you don't need to go to that extent. Like, just because you were raised with these ideas and beliefs from whatever, from, from your family, from society, from whatever ways you grew up with, you know, it doesn't have to be that way, you know, like, and it's, 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 it's simple things too, like learning that this or that type of weather sucks and it's bad. And because of that, you need to have a bad mood. Like it's, it's just so interesting. We've been conditioned in ways that in my opinion are just very unnecessary. There's nothing wrong with rain. There's nothing wrong with thunderstorms. I used to be scared of thunderstorms, you know, um, it, it's, just, it's, it's so interesting and just like looking at my own personal life and everything, recognizing my capacity to be present with what is now and like actually utilizing that as a tool for um, even, you know, deeper and more profound healing is absolutely essential for me. It's important to be in that mindset moving forward, especially suggesting that you can accept what is. It doesn't matter what it is. You can accept it. And as long as you allow yourself to really be grounded with what is, right? And listen, listen to the stories. Listen, be the observer of your mind and listen to the stories that are being told. Uh, uh, nope, can't accept it. Uh, uh, nope, can't accept it. Uh, and just, just be in awe, just being like, whoa, you were formed unconsciously. The weather sucks, the weather sucks, the weather sucks. The we Ooh, that's interesting. 
Does the weather really suck? Does rain really suck? Is rain really that awful? Do I really have to run frantically through it like I'm being attacked? But no. <laughs> Challenging perspectives and belief systems and ideas that you were raised with and conditioned with is, in my opinion, and being present with all of that and everything else is one of the most interesting aspects of the journey of healing.